Good morning everyone and welcome to TransWest Truck Trailer RV. We're located in Frederick, Colorado. My name is Larry Vickers. Did you guys get a chance to see that the trailer that CJ just brought you? I mean, it's amazing. The things that that department can do is, is simply incredible. They just produce quality over and over and over again and it's simply amazing what they can do. But let, let's talk about the truck now. Uh, we've finally been able to locate and bring you an older truck, a used one. It's been a while since we've had one, and one reason for that is we're pretty picky, you know, on the quality that we're able to bring you as well. Uh, we spend about an average of $10,000 in the shop on these used ones just to make sure that they're up to par and they're going to be able to last you a long time and hopefully not have any problems because the last thing I need is for a customer to have any sort of problems. I don't want that, TransWest doesn't want that and you sure don't want that either. So that's why we spend the amount of money that we do in the pre-owned side to bring you a vehicle that, that you can have trust in purchasing from us. So with that being said, this is a 2007 Freightliner M2. 106. The interior conversion is sports chassis and it has a Braverman flatbed on the back. This truck only has 118,000 miles. So there's a couple of advantages right there. One is the low mileage on the truck and second of all being a 2007 uh, we don't have to worry about the def stuff. This is all pre-def so that's nice as well. So let's take a look underneath the hood. That is the Mercedes MBE 900. It offers 330 horsepower along with 1,000 foot-pounds of torque. It is coupled with the Allison 3200 TRV transmission. This truck is stock number 5U201. So now let's take a look in front and get a front view of this specific truck. As you'll notice, just like all haulers, we're higher off the ground than a pickup truck. So that's going to help from a safety standpoint, coupled with the fact that there's 2,500 square inches of glass in that windshield so visibility is simply outstanding we can see things coming at us as well as from side to side going up and down the road as we start to walk around we'll see that the truck comes with toyo tires 255 70 r 22.5 And for having this low miles, as you can see from the paint, there are no scratches on the truck as well. As we take a look inside the driver's seat, a couple of things to point out. Just like all haulers, right here is where we start the truck. Uh, cruise control is over here. We can see the little pedal right here. So when we're sitting in the driver's seat, we press that little pedal to adjust the steering wheel. The truck does come with air ride. Right here is the adjustment for that. Heated and cooled seats located here. And air for in and out of the lumbar system is located there. So that air ride really makes it a comfortable ride for you as you're going up and down the road. Underneath here is one of the two fuel tanks it comes with two 50 gallon fuel tanks as well. As we take a look in the back seat, as you can see, I already have it made down into a bed. I did check with Colorado's DOT, and this does meet requirements for a bed. And to get it back up is simple just a push of a button. and we're back up into a seat. Now let's take a look of, at the bed. I've sent 
a few people that's already been interested in the truck, a few pictures, you know, and they, the response is, why is the bed white? It, it isn't. You know, and I get that. It looks that way in the pictures. It's all aluminum. Now, we took it over to the acid wash where the guys take the, the trailers and things to get it stripped down and clean. So that's what we're seeing, guys. It's extremely clean aluminum. That's not white. That's an aluminum bed. And if we step back, it does come with the one storage component located here. Now, as we walk through, we'll see it does have a hitch for a bumper pull trailer located here. Now the hookup itself is a little bit different. You can see how deep, well, I guess you call it that trough is that that ball sets down into. So once you get it sent down in there, that really levels the trailer out nice. Uh, we don't have it hooked up for the safety chains because this is for video purposes only. But straight across is where you can see where we hook up the lights. The bed does have the sideboard right there to make life easy to get up and in. So this is a very functional truck from the standpoint you can do various things with it. From hooking up to a trailer, having that flatbed over, if a guy needs to get to go get a load of feed or hay bales, things like that, you have that all ready to go. So you can do that work truck as well as hooking up an extremely nice livestock or horse trailer to the back of it. So really a dual purpose type of a truck that a lot of people can benefit from. We take a look in the back seat. Just like most haulers, the biggest thing you're gonna notice right when you open the door is how much space and room is available. You combine that with a very comfortable seat, makes those long trips feel not so long at all. From here, we can get a shot of the DVD player. Now let's crawl on in and take a look at the inside. A couple other quick notes about the truck. Um, the empty weight is 12,967. Furthermore, it has a rear axle ratio of 4.56. So when we take a look at the inside, um, up here is our air horn located right there. The gauges, pretty self-explanatory. Um, air pressure, temperature, all of that located over here. There's the one for the air gauge located right there. It does come with automatic transmission located here, R for reverse, N for neutral, and D for drive. This is for the windows. As we pan on over, mirror heaters are located there. There's the engine brake. So that's a huge safety advantage to this truck. I mean, we're right next to the Rocky Mountains. If we're bringing this, tra this truck through with this trailer behind loaded up, that engine brake's awful nice to, to slow us down if we're coming down a steep grade. There's the air dump located there to let air out of the rear of the truck. Comes in very handy for hooking up the trailer. There's an old school CB here. Check this out, Jody. Cigarette lighter. When was the last time you saw that in a vehicle? So that's pretty cool going old school on a couple of things. This is the basic climate control located there. And there's a couple of storage components. One here, one located here. It does come with the original manual, but look how deep that is. That's a lot of storage there, guys. So this is a little bit older truck, but boy, it was very well maintained. Low mileage on it, only 118,000. A lot of bang for your buck when it comes to this specific truck. One thing I did want to mention, um, financing for a truck this old is gonna be very challenging. It can be done, but it, it's gonna be tough to get that done. So just kind of keep that in mind if, when you're inquiring about purchasing the truck. So if you have any other questions about it, please feel free to give me a call. The cell phone number is 
303-684-3064, the work extension 303-684-3404, email me at larry.vickers at transwest.com. Thanks for tuning in today.